So, Doug, um, well, how are you feeling about the Discoveries Mining Conference, your first one? I mean, uh, what's your takeaway from this? And yes, this is the first conference, but I can tell that uh, this was long needed. This is uh, a good, high-quality technical conference. One of our goals with this conference was to showcase the uh, high level of work, the excellent quality projects that are actually being explored and developed in Mexico. And I think it opened a lot of eyes. Uh, people tend to focus on the negative things. But uh, in this event, uh, we had a, an awful lot of positive things. I believe we uh, met our goals. Right. One thing that a lot of people have been saying is that they, were, they felt really comfortable and happy being able to walk around and run into people that they haven't seen in a while. Um, it was just pure um, knowledge being passed back and forth and by people who hadn't seen each other for a while in a, in a very beautiful environment. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, the life of a geologist is usually more of a lone wolf type of existence. Generally, the uh, geologists uh, work alone or with a small group of uh, a small team of geologists. And uh, these conferences are really important so they have a chance to interchange ideas and talk about each other, see what other people are doing in other companies. What, what was your initial reason for launching this in the first place some seven, eight months ago when you first thought about it all? I think the initial reason was basically because I saw there was a real need for a good quality technical conference in Mexico. There's an awful lot of uh, advanced projects that are being developed. There's high quality work that's being done. There's some very professional geologists working down here. And uh, people that I spoke to uh, didn't seem to realize that. I thought, well, this would be a good chance to show the world uh, really that Mexico is booming as far as exploration goes. Were you worried that, you know, due to the economic conditions or the impending doom that you seem to read every day in the newspaper, you know, with the continued low oil prices and cuts in budget, et cetera, the, of course, the new mining tax laws, that uh, it would affect attendance? Yes, uh, I was concerned about that. But on the other hand, uh, many of these guys are very busy people. And uh, we were able to uh, organize this in such a way that uh, they were all able to attend. We're in the bottom part of the, uh, the mining cycle right now. So I know the, uh, the attendance uh, was a little bit low because of that. But on the other hand, there was uh, a good quality attendance. And everybody seems to be happy. They make good contacts, which is what we wanted them to do. And uh, I think uh, in that aspect, it was a successful conference. Well, and as you said, get updates on new and or existing properties and where they're at. Um, do you think actually that Discoveries 2017 would be based on the same theme on where you're at one year from now? Or would you try to vary it and bring in new, um, new geologists, new engineers for still other discoveries that haven't made it to 2016? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we just uh, touched a very small percentage of the advanced exploration projects that are currently being developed. Uh, there's just a wealth of exploration projects throughout the country. And uh, many of the uh, speakers that we invited, uh, we, we still have a list of at least 10 speakers, additional speakers, who are signed up for the 2017 conference. Plus those that didn't make it to this one. <coughs> Plus those who didn't make it to this one. Two or three at least. Exactly. And I think uh, this is a real positive, uh, not only for Mexico, but for all of the Americas. And uh, that uh, actually opened the door to some new possibilities. Uh, speakers such as Tim Leon Garzon, who came up from Colombia, uh, he was just uh, very enthusiastic about this conference. And, and he says, uh, there's a lot of work, interesting work going on in Colombia, in Peru, in Chile, Brazil, and uh, Argentina now, now with the change in government. So maybe you can franchise the Discoveries Mining Conference name out to Yes, uh, we'll probably uh, make it more of an America's wide uh, type conference and we want it to be the uh, high quality event of the year where the geologist can come and showcase the work that he's done. What do you intend to do with uh, the videos, for example, the interviews that, uh, you know, of interviewing some of the executives and whatnot, or will those go on the website? Yes, yeah, so we plan to publish these videos on the website. and. Uh, one of the things that was notable during this conference is there was a lack of young geologists at this conference. One of our goals was to reach out to the younger generation, and uh, we're hoping that through these videos we'll be able to do that better. This uh, video project is, uh, is a very important aspect of this conference. 
because we're uh, leaving something for posterity. Most of the younger generation gets their news, gets their articles, uh, how to videos now. And it can help create a corporate uh, documentary, be that five, 10, or 20 minutes of this event. See, uh, yes, and uh, I think it's also a chance to get to know a little bit of the personalities of the people who are uh, behind some of these enormous discoveries. Well, the other thing we're probably going to do in the future is reach out more to the universities. Instead of giving student passes to the conference, I would prefer uh, to give a number of passes to the uh, heads of the geological departments, and they would, could send their best uh, students or the ones who are most interested in these types of events. It sounds like everybody had a, had a really good time. I mean, especially, you know, the gala, Sena Gala last night, too. Oh, yes. Uh, that was a real bringing together of <laughs> letting right, the barriers uh, down. <clears throat> You that had providers out, there as well, uh, suppliers, I noticed. Yes, uh, that worked out very well. Uh, we had suppliers, we had geologists in a very informal, uh, uh, festive-type environment. Everybody got along fine. There was lots of conversation, lots of interaction. That's actually key because uh, the suppliers and providers don't need to feel like they're being milked. They right, know that exactly. It's all something more natural. Yes, in this case, with this conference, that uh, we were more focused on bringing in the high-quality content. And uh, <clears throat> we view the uh, geologist as the first uh, link in the chain of the, in of the mining industry. Following the geologist comes assay labs, comes geophysical companies. Um, we have all of the uh, consulting firms and construction industry and uh, everything else follows, but the geologist is the first link in that chain. Right. So we uh, focus on bringing them to the conference. And uh, with them here, uh, everything else followed just like it should. Yeah, it's like a, an attractive magnet of sorts. Exactly. Uh, other conferences you go to uh, have uh, converted more into trade shows. And it's not good for anybody because uh, you have a trade show where geologists are not attending. Uh, they would rather send their purchasing agent to go to the trade show. But, uh, and so you have the distributors sitting around uh, with their competition and very few clients. So it's no good. It's not good business for the distributors, and in those cases, I feel like they are being milked to cover the cost of a conference that that has very little benefit for them. And so we decided to uh, turn this on its head, put the mining conferences in the correct priority, bring in first the good content, the mining companies who are the clients for the entire industry, and let the distributors follow their clients. And it was a good uh, tactic to use. And, uh, and converse and get to know them in a comfortable, <laughs> relaxed. Uh, yeah, I believe in the future conferences, we may dedicate uh, more attention to the uh, exhibitors, to the uh, uh, distribu distribution side of the event. But your suggestion to bring in youth is a good one as yes. well, because uh, that addresses the whole brain drain issue and just making mining a sexy and attractive way to make a career. Right, exactly. As a young person. Well, is there anything else you'd uh, like to add? It's been a very positive week, and I'm just happy that uh, all the people who could attend were here today. Everybody tends to say, uh, yes, Mexico has lots of potential, but it's kind of a vague understanding that there's lots of potential, and we're actually uh, putting a little bit of facts, a little bit of evidence behind that statement. And uh, what's amazing is people are coming away just uh, amazed at how much has actually been done, what has been found. And uh, now they're telling me, uh, you used up all of your good material on the first conference. Uh, you know, what are you gonna do on the next one? And uh, so now I have the challenge of demonstrating that this is just a small percentage of the good projects that are out there. <laughs> good luck to you. <laughs> yes, thank you.